But today I want to share with you a strategy that I've implemented in my investment journey that has provided large returns and large growth to my net worth and my investment balances. Now, once I show you what my strategy is, you'll, you'll realize how simple it is, but yet effective. The, the, the challenge of this strategy though, and you'll see once I go through this, is that it's easy to understand and it's easy to see, but it's very difficult in reality. It's very difficult in reality in, in real life to actually implement. And I'll, I'll kind of go over some of the reasons why I think it's very difficult to implement. But the, the, the simple tweak that you can make uh, can really bring significant results to not only your investment journey, but in this video, I'll show how a small business owner, uh, specifically an entrepreneur that's primarily uh, uh, self-employed and you're doing the service yourself, could really grow your business significantly by implementing this strategy. So let's begin. And, and before I begin, I'm just going to use a very basic example. Uh, please don't think that you'll see these results, uh, but it just kind of illustrates the possibilities by implementing the result, uh, th this strategy. I keep saying strategy because I can't think of any other word to use, but implement this little tweak into your business. And I, I, I believe because it's worked in my investment strategy, uh, how it's really grown my portfolio significantly by doing this over time. Again, this is over time, but uh, in this scenario, I'm gonna show uh, a, a, a pretty dramatic uh, example, but, but, but just to illustrate how this could really significantly uh, increase your, uh, uh, your wealth uh, over time. So let's begin again. So, uh, so let's say you start a bit, you have a business and most business owners, I believe work in this format, uh, at least the business owners that, uh, are just using their business kind of like a, as a cash cow or as an ATM where they have a small, uh, a decent sized business, but they're uh, constantly taking money out of the business to live off of, which makes sense because that's what, why most people are in business. But if you really want to grow your business and grow it into to an actual business that it's actually growing in itself, uh, you want to maybe implement this as well. So, so generally speaking, most businesses run this way. So let's say you have uh, a carryover of $20,000 from last year. That's a $20,000. Uh, I guess we, we, in this case, we can consider a profit or something that is going to carry over from last year. And you've been doing this for year over year. It's like a $20,000 uh, carry over every year. This twenty thousand dollars really is focused on uh, uh, the investment portion of your business. This twenty thousand uh, dollars is is focused on revenue generating expenses. So the twenty thousand dollars is focused on advertisement, sales funnel, social media, lead generation, and the twenty thousand dollars is what you put out uh, to hopefully get a return on your investments that you're making. Uh, and that can also include, you know, taking people out to lunch, etc. It's it's a cost to you, but eventually, in hopes that you'll bring some business coming in. A good example would be a realtor. You spend, you know, this is again, realtors out there. This is just a, a very basic example. But let's say you're spending twenty thousand dollars on uh, uh, trying to get some 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 deals closed to bring into you. Uh, so, so in this example, we're just going to use simple numbers. So $20,000, you're putting in money in and let's say you're doing well, and this is a well-established business and you're, you're making $120,000 for that return. So that's a six X, six times of your return. So $20,000 you're putting in, you're getting back $120,000. That's pretty good. And you've been doing this year after year, but in this scenario, um, so that profits you a hundred, a uh, hundred thousand dollars, right? Profits you $100,000 because your expenses are 20 or your, we consider revenue generating expenses. So it's $100,000. But in this case, uh, your living expenses is $80,000. 
meaning the $80,000 you're actually taking home as a salary, uh, or that's what you're taking out of the business uh, every month or every quarter or however it is every day, however it is that you're, you're, you're budgeting or how you're, you're working your, your, your finances. And that varies, of course. Preferably, it's out of a business, uh, a, this is out of a business account, business checking account. And preferably, this is out of a personal uh, account. But that's to pay your mortgage, that's to pay your cars, maintenance on your mortgage or your home and your cars, uh, and your lifestyle. So this is a basic example. So at the end of the year, if you will, and I'm not going to include taxes because I didn't want to overcomplicate this basic scenario. Then you go back and you are uh, investing again and you're producing 120 profit 100 and you're making about roughly 80,000. Let's say you've been doing this for five or six years and your business really isn't growing. You're pretty much staying ta stagnant and you're just making 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 every year. So you're like, okay, George, what's the strategy? Well, you're going to laugh when, when maybe you may laugh or maybe it might actually bring some uh, aha moment. But what I would suggest, let me grab my cheat sheet here. What I would suggest, and here's the basic strategy, because this is what I've implemented in, in, in my strategy. So there's a couple of things you can do, right? When you look at this, you can, you can, uh, 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 increase your revenue, work harder, right? Make this 10, 10x, Grant Cardone, 10x everything. Work harder, work harder, work harder, which is true. You can do that. Uh, but let's say you're already working hard. Let's say you're already, you know, putting in the much effort. Or you're saying, you know what? Your initial investment or what you're putting in could be higher. And, and, and so the success will become higher. And that's also true that you can do that. But one thing, this is the strategy that I've used and, and it's worked. It's like, what if uh, you decide one year you're going to get strict? Just one year, just one year. You're like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to live below my means. And I'm going to make some changes in my lifestyle. My lifestyle is going to not be as extravagant. You know, maybe I'm going to downsize my car. Maybe I'm going to refinance or get rid of this mortgage or or maybe not going even that extreme. But let's say you just make a lifestyle change and you cut $20,000. Now your lifestyle is $60,000 a year. Well, guess what? Immediately this becomes 40. Next year you're ready to go. You've built up a nice chunk of savings that you're going to or, or throughout the year you're putting the money back into your business or or rather, you're not taking as much money throughout the year and you're putting it back into the business. That 40 becomes, this is where it really is significant, becomes 240. And that 240, of course, becomes two. Right? Then, then uh, you could either go back to 80. Right? You go back to 80 here and you still what is that 160 but what if you decided you know what we've got we've gotten used to this lifestyle for a year let's do it another year two years and then so the next year you're gonna put it back into your business this becomes then 140 140 this becomes 840 because you're 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 still working as hard you just you're pouring more money into the business still the same 6x this becomes 700 then you've got an opportunity then to really increase your lifestyle let's say now you're really cooking now you want to increase your lifestyle to 100 so before it was 80, you just couldn't break through 80, 80, 80. Two years of switching this up, you built your business, you focus more on your business or your investment, and now you can bring it back up 
to 100, you were, you were living at 80 for years, you brought it down to 60 for two years, and now you're able to bring it up to 100, and your business now can really grow. You can really grow your business or be at a point where you're, you're, you're increase your lifestyle. Uh, you can make this 200 if you want. Uh, I mean, you can make this 500 if you want, put 200 back into your business. You, can, you know, at this point, you can buy a house cash. You can do so much more. You can build so much more wealth later in life. Now, this scenario, what? It was two years of living below your means and, 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 and really focusing, putting a lot of money back into your business. I don't know what that was there for. But you could really, really significantly increase your business. And that's kind of the gist, right? The gist is, the, the, here's the point. The point is if you really... Uh, 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 watch your spending, personal spending, live below your means, not live a, an extravagant lifestyle, even though you have the ability to, and really focus on investing or putting it back into your business. Um, you're going to see growth. Now, in this scenario, of course, is like two years. That's not probably realistic. It, it might be in some cases, but... Um, over time, over time, you're going to see your business grow because you're feeding your business more than you're feeding yourself, right? You're feeding yourself, but your business is dying or staying stagnant. It's not getting healthy. Um, but if you if you just feed it a little bit, and that's the thing, the great thing about compound, when you com when you use the magic, if you leverage compound compounding method into a business that's doing six x. Just all it takes is a little bit more. Sometimes that's all it takes is a little bit more influx of cash into the business to really uh, grow that business significantly over time. So that's kind of what I want to show you. That's something that I implement in my investment strategy in half for the past several years is we haven't necessarily uh, 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 been dramatically cutting, but we have cut to a point uh, early in our life uh, before kids that um, we didn't significantly grow our personal lifestyle. We've stayed consistent. Our income has grown. Our investments have, has grown because we really have uh, poured more and more and more into that versus uh, really increasing our lifestyle. And at some point down the line, we do plan to, to, this, to do this part and really you know, uh, start to quote unquote, live a little. Um, but, uh, it's all in due time and it's really up to you. This is just a strategy that I've used that I, it's working and it has worked for several years. Um, so something to think about, keep in mind, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps someone. God loves you. I love you. See you next time.